class. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome on this wonderful Wednesday morning. I hope uh, we'll be doing a fun lesson. Um, you get the answers here, you'll get the color. We have all the information on the back for our upcoming test for tomorrow. Hope you have out a pencil a or a color pencil. It could be a highlighter or a pen for this worksheet. As well, you gotta use your brain. I hope you guys <laughs> had well sleep last night, enough water. Today, we'll be doing a ratio equation just like we've been doing this whole week. Uh, Adrian, would you like to uh, speak out our positive affirmation today? Uh, if you work hard in training, we'll find it easy in many All it says basically is hard work. I mean, look at this. Hard work and you get rewarded with color. I mean, who doesn't like color, am I right? And I'm gonna allow y'all to be and partners for these problems, but as well, I'm going to be solving and helping you. If you want to answer, you want to go, um, what's the first thing to do here? No more? Come on, guys, you like doing a butterfly method. We're going to do a butterfly method off of these two sides. The only time you do a butterfly method if you have an equal sign right here. A lot of times, this can show on your other problems if there's something over here, for example, um, plus one plus x. Let's put up one two because I like two. Um, you can't do a butterfly method here as you on both sides. But if there was something like this, you have to add it together. Let's do our nice butterfly method. I'm not very oh my wings for my butterfly is not well. <laughs> um, three times three. Go. Class class. Yes. yes. Alright, we're gonna move on to question number ten. I want to do question number 10, not because I don't believe you guys to not do it or it looks way too much, which it is, looks a little too much, but I want to teach you on how to solve it in the most simplified way. And this is a lot of times, a lot of teachers, such as I, I went to other teachers in the department, we had a couple problems with this. We weren't sure if you want to cancel it off of the color sheet, but like we want to color the whole thing, right? So let's get this done. So right here, we want to factor this down here and factor this minus as well. So how we're gonna factor this is gonna do the x, the x, uh, the x method I like to use. It, we're gonna add whatever the number on top and then multiply the number on the bottom. Two, two x is gonna be on top. We want to add whatever two numbers right here to equals two. And then we want negative 15. We want that to be multiplied in some way. And how are we gonna get these two numbers to add and multiply? Well, I like to start off with five because five could get into two and 15 pretty easily. So I'm gonna do positive five and negative three. Why negative three? Because negative uh, five minus three, two. Five times negative three equals negative 15. Now, we can bring it down over here. X plus one. X negative three. In parentheses, don't forget those two parentheses. Another parentheses, X plus five. Another parentheses. Just like, just like I said, we want to factor this down even lower. So equals X plus five stays the same. And then when we factor this, it's gonna bring it down to two parentheses, x negative three. And then we're gonna keep this over here the same. And here's here's where the struggle begins right here. Even I was trying to solve, oh, let's do an x uh, butterfly method. No, the only time you can do a butterfly method is when these numbers are together and we have two separate um, equations on both sides, not equation then another negative on top of it. We're not gonna do that, uh, cause I mean, a butterfly don't have an extra wing like that. Um, <laughs> so off of here, these two are a different equation. We want all the denominators to be the same. Yes, x plus five, this is still its own indiv individual. So we're gonna bring it down over here, write the same thing on the left side. It's perfect, but not too perfect, so we'll fix that later. Equals to, I gotta kneel down here. Keep the same on top, or having another one right here as well. We wanna bring an, 
the negative three off of here because it multiply that and then keep it over here the same thing now like I said this is own individuality so we try we have to try to get the x negative 5 over here in some way and form so how we can do that is have one on top multiply and to see x minus 5 now it has it has that and we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom because we want it to cancel it out now we got the hard part done hard part you can label that on top on yours because i for sure label on top of my paper um, i'm gonna bring it onto this side hopefully you guys can see this in parentheses three squared because we have two of those over there and then we have x by itself and five off of the equation over here because we multiply and whoever multiplies one stays the same just get out of the parentheses we don't need those parentheses same thing on the left side equals two parentheses x squared we want to put that by itself because we don't want to have we don't want to have a big number right there so we're separate separate all all at once i know it's a lot of numbers just organizing skills so we're gonna have 3x minus 3x plus 9 squared minus 12x because they multiply it by the 2 and then we multiply that 9 as well so 9 times 2 equals 19 and it's a positive so it's, I'm gonna positive 2x negative 2x is is x to the negative minus 6 because 5 plus 1 equals 6. Now we're going to bring down to having this by itself. 0, 2x, get out of the parentheses, we don't want those parentheses no more. Now we're adding these two x together and these two individual numbers will add an x together as well. Bring it down to 14x. Plus two, plus twelve. You have an understanding so far? Yes. yes. That's good. Let's get this two out of the equation. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna factor it again, but we're gonna do division on both sides. So now we're having two down here and two over here. Zero divided by two, it's gonna be zero. Let me do it off of this side. Because Mr. Garcia like the right day. So we didn't do anything. We just cancel out the two. So everything is the same on the side, which is taking out the two out of the equation. I like to do the x, the x, x, uh, x method, negative seven on top, six right here. We need the two numbers right here. What two numbers are we gonna get off of there? We need to get negative six, negative one. Why? Both of them multiply becomes a positive, don't forget that. And then negative six plus negative one equals negative seven. So now we're gonna have x minus six, parentheses, don't forget those parentheses, x minus one. And is that the final answer? Exactly, no. Now, all of, it's not the final answer because we still got that zero right here on top of another zero. You see that? We have that zero. So now we're gonna bring it down to plus six off of both sides equals x equals six. Same thing over here. Same thing. Add plus one equals x one. And now the final final answer to this equation is going to be x equal to six and one. Oh, that's really that's really good coloring, Bella. I like that. Thank you. You too, Miracle. Thank you. Wow, you guys stay in the lines. I can't even do that. Tourist, um, by tomorrow, I am going to give you an extra three points to your test, but you probably don't need it because you're probably going to get a hundred on top. Oh, wait, let's do six. Eight. 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 Eight.